What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to save the Space Center from uh, any, some kind of fuel theft. Yeah, it's pretty big out here. And, uh, well, we got rewarded with the HMO7 dive. And because we got the HMO7, I think it's time for us to do a little bit of a side quest because, well, you know, side quests are awesome. So we did teach our we did teach our Jaws the HMO7 dive. Don't worry, I know, I know it's two water type moves on one Pokemon. But yes, we will be eventually, you know, switching up the moves and all that stuff. But for right now, our first side quest is going to take us back to the abandoned ship close to Duford because there's quite a few things that you can actually find there now that you have dive and I kind of want to do this first so let's not go right there let's go right here route 107 and now there's another thing too I do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and use a super repel yeah there's a uh, yeah there, there's quite a few Pokemon that you don't want to get attacked by and two repels can suffice right here for when we get to the abandoned ship. As many of you guys already know, we've been through the, uh, the abandoned ship, took a look at everything right here at Route 108, and uh, the next thing that we need to do is there is a location. May is just talking to me, and she's like, I was, okay. So May just called this, and she's like, I wasn't just in Pacific Log a while ago, and I saw a, a, I just saw a green, a giant green Pokemon flying high in the sky. I have never seen anything like it. I wonder what it what it was. Is it maybe a major discovery? So right there is the well right there it basically means that Rayquaza is now ready to start yelling at some other Pokemon right here. But we're gonna be doing a, a side quest first, just to build up to what eventually will be. So here we are in the abandoned ship. And we have to go to a specific room in order to go go ahead and use dive. And I believe it's right here down the middle. As you guys already know, if you guys see any kind of dark patches in the water spots right here, you will be able to use dive just like that. And bam, you are underwater. Now, it's only in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and in, I want to say, Black and White, where you can actually use Dive. In Black and White, it's kind of a waste, because there's only like maybe one or two spots that you can actually use Dive. Now, as you guys can see right here, these doors can't open, but you guys got to keep your eyes peeled. If you see a bright spot, bam, or shiny, or something uh, light up, that's usually something of importance right there. And we gotta go right here, and we found ourselves a key to the room to room number one. So let's go right ahead and keep our eyes peeled. Right here, and the door is now open, and we got two things plus this. So here we found ourselves the TM18 Rain Dance. And grab this. We found ourselves the room four key. Now, usually if there's multiple shiny spots, it's you know, the other, the other thing might be something like trash. As you guys can see, it's just trash. Take a look at the trash can, and there is nothing. And now we have to go to room four. So I'm assuming that room four might be here at this corner. And there you go. And there's three. So let's go ahead and go right here. We found ourselves the room six key. And let's see, bright and shiny right here. There we go. Okay, so that's nothing nothing important. So let's go right ahead and go right here, room six. And again, keep your eyes peeled. Nothing. But there is a luxury ball right here that you can actually find. And this is empty. This is empty. And here is the room that you can't you you can't necessarily go into. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go be be going through that entrance to see where these shiny uh, the shiny spots are because I completely forgot where it's at. Let's go right here. You find four spots, and again there it's usually one thing that's uh you know that's active right here. So let's go right ahead, and there's nothing right there. We're still trying to find everything, and here we found ourselves the room two key, which uh, well you know we'll open up room two. So let's go right ahead and come over here 
And let's go downstairs. And here it is. Room 2 has been open. And there is nothing else except for this, which is the scanner. Which is a an item that's being uh, sought after by the guy that, well, was basically right here. the One of the scientists. So let's go right ahead and find that scientist. And bam, let's go ahead and do that. And... Well, let's get the heck out of here. The abandoned ship. Okay, so once you have found the scanner, you have to find the scientist that is running this whole place right here, or just, you know, basically researching this place. If you guys have played Pokemon Ruby, Alpha, or Alpha, Alpha Sapphire, and Omega Ruby, this place has become becomes much more of a legendary spot for a whole bunch of legendary Pokemon you could find. And, well, let's go right here and talk to this guy. He's like, oh! That's a scanner. Listen, can I get uh, can I get you to deliver that to Captain Stern? I want to investigate this ship a, bit, a little bit more. So yeah, we have activated that. And the next thing we have to do is go back to Slateport City because, well, that's where Captain Stern is at. And well, I'm pretty sure Homie is still, you know, still not happy about the whole uh, submarine being stolen. So hopefully this will probably, like, hopefully this will lighten them up a little. So here we are getting out. If you guys remember, you can find Ice Beam in this particular area, so just be aware of that. And, well, here we are exiting. And bam, we are out. So let's go straight to Slateport. And let's go ahead and collect our, our, our prize. So here we are. And... Captain Stern is going to be right here in the port, so let's go right ahead and see where he's at. There he is. He's like, oh, Draven, that item you have, that's a scanner. That sure would help us in our explorations. Draven, would you would you trade your scanner for something like a deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale that I have? So if you guys don't know, the deep sea tooth and the deep sea scale are evolutionary items that you can put on a clam pearl. I believe the deep sea tooth evolves it into... I can't remember the name of the... God dang, I always forget these Pokemon. But yeah, one of these two Poke one of these two will, e will actually evolve your Pokemon. I'm gonna go with the Tooth for right now. I do have the Deep Sea Scale in another version, so do not worry, guys. We, uh, we are in preparation for all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, that right there completes our side quest episode for the day. In the next episode, we're gonna be going back into... Uh, what was it called? The... The trick house we're gonna be doing some battles right there just to battle and all that stuff i don't know how many times we're gonna be battling but we're gonna be going in there and taking care of business so thank you guys again for being as patient as always thank you guys for watching i will be back for another episode of our pokemon emerald walkthrough see you guys